So a question that comes up time and time again is how do you maintain the edge on a bladed tool? So it doesn't matter whether that's a knife or bill hook and axe, the principle is exactly the same. So we're going to do a quick demo here of how stropping can uh, bring what looks to be a very dull edge back to shaving sharp in just a couple of minutes. So in this example I'm using a leather strop and I'm going to add a little bit of autosol. Uh, effectively all that is is a cutting compound so there's an abrasive in there which will take microscopic bits of steel off the edge of the knife blade. This particular knife is very dull. I've been cutting lots of gritty sandy stuff with it and uh, it needs a good go over. So while compound is good if your knife blade is really dull it's not essential. You can still strut without it um, on just a piece of leather and it will have a very similar result. So the principle behind stropping like all great ideas is really simple. Um, if you can imagine taking a close-up look at the edge of a dull knife, you might expect to see some dents or dings in the steel. You might expect to see uh, jagged areas if you've been cutting rough things. And even though this damage can be almost too small, or in some cases will be too small to see with the naked eye, uh, it, it is still there. So in stropping, what you're doing is effectively realigning that edge, evening out or smoothing out those rough patches uh, back in line with the edge of the tool so that when you go to cut um, the knife slices through the material whatever that may be rather than tears it as we saw at the start. So in terms of technique it's really important that the edge of the tool that you're stropping is in contact with the strop when you're working it and what that does is concentrate all the work on the edge, it aligns those jagged edges that are preventing your knife or axe from cutting cleanly. I would normally do about 50 even strokes on each side, more or less. Uh, it sounds like a lot, but as you can see it only takes you a couple of minutes once you've got the hang of it. And you want to be applying about as much pressure as you would use to butter a slice of toast. There's no point in pushing too hard, it doesn't do any more work. You just run the risk of rounding your edge over. And here we go, the proof is in the pudding. So let's see if that stropping has worked. A couple of minutes on each side, and there we go. We've gone from a dull tool that was cutting, but definitely not optimally, to a nice razor sharp knife that won't need any more work for a couple of weeks. Job done.